general student council meeting. Uh, if you're a class president, uh, we talked about that leadership conference on September 10th. Uh, that's an F day. Uh, so if you could, as we told you during the meeting, if you could talk with all your class officers and figure out whether that date uh, works for them or if they want to do the, uh, you know, the alternate conference that we discussed, please figure that out and send uh, Ms. Willison an email with their decisions by Monday, no later than Monday. All right, so shoot them an email or talk to them today. And I have in my hands a sign-up sheet for the York 2015 York School Volleyball <laughs> Falcon Club Tournament. <laughs> so if you don't know what it is, it's a thing I started last year. It's uh, so that the whole student body can participate in a really fun, uh, friendly volleyball competition in the gym. So it's a tournament kind of thing, so you would be put into teams. So uh, I'll put this sign-up sheet on the student message board. I think it's the, the work job board. Uh, just write your name, your grade, indicate if you want to become a captain, and a little bit about your experience. All right, thank you. Sign up. Hey everyone, as you know, the music program is well underway, and we are still looking for singers out here, and for uh, flute players, clarinets, and viola, and drummers, and I want you to remember that every single musician starts from somewhere, right, from the beginning, and, and we grow in this community together. So now is a perfect opportunity to try it out and grow as a community, as great musicians, and imagine where we can be in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So please contact me if you're at all interested in starting music today. Thank you. Today's speech is re reflecting on respect and responsibility. Uh, we have a lot of new things around campus, new furniture, new picnic tables, new umbrellas, new things that need to be respected with the re responsibility of taking care of it so that they will last longer. We got new sofas in the student center. They're not your beds that you can throw yourself on and do, treat it like a trampoline. The chairs here in the chapel, they're older than some of your parents probably. <laughs> but they will last if you take care of them. They're not rocking chairs. They're chairs to be sat on. The tables and chairs in the classrooms, they're relatively new. They get a little wobbly sometimes. Yeah, I gotta retighten them. But they're not to be sat on. They're to be taken care of as your writing surfaces, your laptop surfaces. Um, and the responsibility also in your work jobs. Just doing your work jobs is fine, but especially the outdoor trash cans and recycling. Put a clean liner in them when you remove the old liner. I think that will about cover what I need to say. Thank you. Three reminders. First, people who were on CIEE study abroad trips, we've asked for you to share some photos with us by today. If you could remember to find a few minutes to look through your photos and get those to Ms. Godoy. Uh, juniors, I sent out an email on Monday night to you and probably your parents through Naviance. So if Naviance isn't working for you, you may want to check with me and see if you might have received an email um, saying that there's either something, a little thing missing or a lot of things missing from your service learning and that you had until today to get that completed. I'm going to be checking on those this afternoon. And sophomores, there are 12 people who didn't turn in enough hours. A couple people just had 9 instead of 10. 
Um, you should know who you are, but if you're not sure, you can check with me on that too. And I will be reading all the Naviant surveys for ninth graders this afternoon. So make sure you've done both of those, or you've logged your hours in the one that says hours log. This is, I'm talking to current 10th graders for your ninth grade year. Sophomores, current sophomores. Um, your ninth grade year, and make sure that you've logged your hours and done your reflection. I'll be checking that this afternoon. Did I confuse anybody? Uh, we have two candidates that are going to come and give you your, their speeches right now. Um, please give them your full attention. And please, on Monday during tutorial after second period, I need you to go to your class meeting site. So on Monday, F day, during tutorial, please go to your class meeting site to vote on one of these two candidates for a student representative to the Board of Trustees. Um, <coughs> They are going to have two minutes for their speeches, and we have our official timers here. They're going to give you a hands up at 30 seconds and a hands up again at 10 seconds, okay? Student representative to the Board of Trustees. Student rep. Now, I am a student, and you know, I can do some reps. <laughs> My name is Ryan Eschlock. Don't worry, I brought a visual aid. Or, Ix La Hawk. <laughs> I fully understand that the position of student representative requires me to represent York. In order to represent you, I feel one of my strengths is that I have experience, experience, leading and working with students across all grade levels, whether it be through music, clubs, sports, or informally on a daily basis. My main responsibility would be to attend board meetings and serve as a liaison. My job would also include serving with the current student council and being able to work with each of the other members. I feel confident working with them because I already know each of them very well except these two scoundrels over here. <laughs> Since I have been at York, I have appreciated the examples of set by past student reps. This job is not just about promising change. It's about trusting a student and expecting them to show respect for the board's and the student's points of view and to create a bridge between the two. Being able to effectively listen to offer a fresh student perspective are two essential qualities, and I'm ready to build unity with confidence, focus, and enthusiasm. How many other people do you know <coughs> that have an X in their last name? Brian. <laughs> nice it's called the X Factor. Experience, excellence, X cognition. Don't know what that means? Look it up. You're about to go on a treasure hunt when you go to cast your vote. Just remember, an X always marks the spot. Vote. Brian, it's the representative of A representative is a person chosen or appointed to act or speak for others. My name is Alyssa Pompan and I want to be your student representative to the Board of Trustees. What does this job mean? I need to take all of your concerns and suggestions and bring them to a group of individuals who are known as the Board of Trustees. So how am I qualified to represent you? Well, I've been here since the 8th grade, which can give the trustees a perspective on the entire York spectrum. I have been, I've experienced sports and theater and my work on student council serving as secretary and activities coordinator. I'm currently a member of York Shield and I serve as an ambassador to the school, speaking to many adults as well as students. I feel that I can effectively represent the student body. I'm very approachable 
whether you're an 8th grader who may be a little shy to speak up, or a 12th grader who has no problem voicing your opinion. You can be confident that I'll represent you. York is such a diverse community, with everybody having different interests, and I want to make sure that they are all represented. I promise to work very hard and take this job very seriously, so please give me that chance. Thank you and vote for me. It's a community service uh, club, and we're meeting in room four today at lunch. You should all show up. Even if you've never done Key Club before, please come. We have cookies. Yeah, we were never actually part of Key Club before, but we basically wanted to start a club about uh, service, so we have cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so last year the student center was kind of grody because people were leaving food, sometimes throwing food, and not cleaning it up. So if you make a mess with your food, please clean it up. Thank you. Today, Flower Club's having their first meeting of the year, and um, we'll be, we're going to be in room 26, in Miss Keith's room, which is room 26. I hope you all come. And I'm sorry that it conflicts with Key Club and we don't have food, but we will have fun. <laughs> this is the uh, last dance of the Lyceum and UN Conference coming up in September. Uh, a couple of people have talked to me, but if you're interested in finding out more, I'll be right outside the chapel after break. Come talk, chat with me. Thank you, everybody. Our second theology club meeting is going to be tomorrow at lunch. At Monday, not tomorrow. <laughs> weekends, what are weekends? Monday at lunch um, at the picnic tables behind the library. If you didn't get the chance to come to the first meeting, you should still come. We had a lot of fun last week, so I hope to see you all there. Process, so uh, please show up. We're also going to be talking about our first convention of the year, Fall State. So. Thank you. All right, guys, have a great day. Have fun.